With so many presets available within the DFX filters, it's actually very important to um, be able to organize them. So let's come in and let's take a look at some ways of doing that. So I'm gonna come into my film lab here and let's take a look at film stocks. Now, if we take a look down our list, we have a huge number of film stocks here that we could possibly choose from. And this variety is a, a great bonus. But of course, everyone has their favorite types of look. Uh, and for example, this one here, the Kodak Plus X, I actually really love this. And I want to be able to easily find this again and again. And all I have to really do is come up and click on the little star up here and you'll see a star appear down here. So this means it's been added to my favorites. Let's find another one. I really love the uh, the subtlety of the Velvia 100F. So let's add that to my favorites as well. Now when I want to easily find these, all I have to do is come down to my favorites tab down here. And here they are, just waiting for me. And let's just, uh, just do one more. Let's come over actually back to the Pro Mist here and to my Pro Mist 2 here. Let's add this a favorite and come down here. Now the great thing is, as I click through here, it will automatically jump me over here into the main presets. So if this one isn't exactly what I'm looking for, then I can just come in and find something similar and a bit more suitable directly within my, uh, my main presets folder here. Now, another thing we can do to limit the number of presets that are being shown is just to click on the drop down menu here and we get a list of ones that are fitting within a particular category. So for our uh, color slide films here, we have these going on. And for our black and white films, we can now see all of these. We can also come in at any time and just search. So for example, if I was looking for something of a Kodak film within our black and white films, we can find something there, or I can extend that out to all films again, and maybe I wanna have a look at a Kodachrome, and then they are exclusively within my presets here. There's such a useful feature, and it really will save you a good amount of time.